Hello, welcome to the video. Today is just a, a really quick video. I'm going to do a simple mod to this machine that I installed the very nice mechanical keyboard in and uh, try and improve the S video quality. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to the mod I've done. It's from the 90s, I believe, but I got it from Nightfall Crew. So, yeah, I'll leave a link there and uh, we'll go from there. Right, so here we are um, in glorious shaky vision as I'm holding the, the phone to record. So this is the Atari that I installed the really nice mechanical keyboard on. Uh, I still haven't fully fitted it back together yet, but yeah, that's because I want to have a look at the video. Um, so I've still looked at using this shitty um, spider that I built and I will encase that properly. But anyway, so the purpose is um, I noticed some shitty S video. So I've got an Uno car A8 in the back there, as you can see. Let's just um, fire this up. This is why I'm holding it. Right. So this is going through my retro tank, and this is the, the quality I'm getting out of it. Now, people might say, oh, yeah, that's brilliant. You know, what's, what's your fucking problem? But... I don't think it is. I'm too used to seeing uh, hyper crisp um, C64 S video. And don't get me wrong, this isn't bad, but I'm going to show you now that it could hopefully be better. So as you can see here, we've got some fringe in. Let's get a... Okay, right. So from the retro channel, um, he did some stuff on the Atari video. And he had a program that he links in his description. So I've shamelessly taken that. And uh, there we go. It's the control picture. Now, it really does look as shit as it looks. I mean, you're, you're getting a whole load of oversaturation on this side. Um, the red, green and blue. Let's see if we can't. That's, yeah, that's... Uh, there's some flare there as you can see um the white's pretty good but this one is you know it's got a bit of a flare off so i'm not overly happy with it at all but like i said it's not bad it's just well let's see what else we got on here i don't know what that does it's had to push down I guess nothing <laughs> anyway what we're going to do is we're going to um rip this bad boy apart and um we, we're, we're going to do a, a video mod on it and see if we can't get a a bit better picture than this so see if i can't hold it still for a second this is what we're getting now and we'll use this as our um datum so Let's, uh, let's get this fucker apart and get soldering in a bit. Right, so here we are. Um, this is the board to the, the XE. Uh, yeah, uh, so I've done the mods. And uh, what it was is um, there's a resistor here. Um, there's also, you can see, if it will zoom, there, there and some down here um you might notice that there's a lot of resistors jammed in there it's because i didn't have 75 ohm resistors on hand so i had to take 150 ohm and parallel them up um so this cap has to be changed as well you've got to be a bit careful size wise because you're going quite up a, you're going you're increasing the amount of microfarads quite a lot so the body size goes up a bit um, apart from that, yeah, I've wedged a, a tantalum between there and there. Um, they're always fun, especially when they blow. Um, so, yeah, these fucking bits are done. Um, all that's left is to power it up and uh, see if the video is any better. So, we're going to do that now. Okay, so we're back here again. It's all assembled and we're ready to test this fucker out. So let's fire it up. Yeah, that don't look a whole lot different. Yeah, okay. 
Hmm. Right, let's try the control picture. Okay, well that does look different. The The right hand side is not completely washed out now. Uh, that's got a lot more graduation in there. Very nice. I mean that, yeah, that's not, that's definitely better than it was before. It's the same amount of flair on like the B and over here. Um, I don't think that's changed. But overall, the black and white is pretty good. That's come out well. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try a game. Some, some color graduation, maybe. Um, do love that keyboard. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's not bad at all. There's still there's still a small amount of flare, like you can see on the side there, on the side of the buildings. But overall, that's not bad. That's really not bad. A definite improvement to what it was. And for a handful of resistors and a couple of caps, that's that's a worthwhile change to make. Definitely. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep this one quite short. Um, there's some other great channels to watch. 8-Bit Retro Refix, Yark, Yosip's Retro Bits, and Retro4U. I'll put the links in the description. And uh, thanks for watching.